Hello, statisticians. Section 5.4 Excel Tips is going to look at the different counting methods and some of the Excel commands that can help us calculate these counting problems. The first type of counting problem is when we want to use all of the things in some certain order. For example, seven runners running a race, and we want to know how many ways they could finish. We found out in our section that this is a factorial, seven factorial. The way we do a factorial on Excel is we type in equals FACT, open a parentheses, and then the number we want the factorial of. So in this case, equals FACT, open a parentheses. We have seven runners, and we're selecting all seven. Close the parentheses, and when I hit enter, we find out that seven factorial is 5,040. The second type of counting seen in section 5.4 is the permutation, where we're selecting some of the people, but the order of the group matters. We have a group of nine people who are going to select a president, secretary, and treasurer, three different offices where the order matters. That's a permutation. To get a permutation, we'll hit equals, permute, open a parentheses, the total number of options, comma, the number that we're actually choosing. Equals, P-E-R-M-U-T, open a parentheses, we have nine people, comma, we're going to choose three of them where the order matters, making it a permutation. Close the parentheses and hit enter, and I see there's 504 different ways this group of nine people can do this. Finally, the third type of counting method discussed in section 5.4 is a combination. Similar to the permutation, we're selecting some of the people from the entire group, but this time the order we select them does not matter. In this example, we have a group of nine people who are going to select a subcommittee of three people. As these three people are equals on a committee, the order doesn't matter, making this a combination. In Excel, we do the combination with equals, combin, open a parentheses, the total number of options, comma, the total number chosen. In this case, equals, c-o-m-b-i-n, open a parentheses, there's nine people to choose from, and we're going to choose three of them where the order doesn't matter. Nine comma three, and close the parentheses. When I hit enter, I find there's 84 different subcommittees of three people that could be formed from a group of nine people. Hopefully this video was helpful as you're solving the problems in section 5.4. We'll see you in the next video.